guys, it's Woody Mark here coming with a brand new Skyblock video and today, well, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be focusing more on challenges, I believe today. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be focusing more on challenges, but what we're going to do is place a soul sap, never walk down, get a herbalism up, all of that kind of fun and jazz and you actually get a good amount of never walk via the never walk farm, as you would expect. But yeah, challenges. Pretty much if we do Dash C so far, we've done the glass one, we did that one episode one. Red Maker we haven't done. Dye Maker we haven't done. Paper Maker we've done. Cobble Maker we've done. Uh, the Seeds we haven't. And the Stew Maker we haven't. So we need to do Stew Maker, uh, Seed Bank. Well, we need to do three out of the four of these. We, prob we won't be able to do the Stew Maker, but the others will be able to do. So what we'll do is start off via doing this one. We're gonna go like, th oh, that's, I forgot I gave you four. Uh, well, I guess we've got more seeds. Uh, I'm gonna put that in my house so no one has to worry about anything else. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I, I, you just make assumptions, I guess. So we're gonna put one, two, three in like that and then keep a stack on us, I guess in case Something. Oh, yeah, we've expanded the cactus farm as well, like a good amount. Used to be two layers, now it's like eight layers, I believe. But yeah, I'll go to the top of this and tell you. <laughs> yeah, takes a relatively good amount of time, but I believe the staircase was like here. So we've made it gone, uh, yeah, twice as high, plus twice as high. Actually, no, it was lower down than that, I think. No, no, probably do. I don't know. I don't know. The fact is, we have expanded it and... Oh, yeah, I was thinking, why is there a random sand block? But yeah, that is it so far. What we're wanting to do is to expand it so much that we can just AFK all night. We'll end up creating an AFK machine and then we'll go for things like spawners and that. But uh, what else do we need? We need melons, don't we? We might have to pay for a few of these things. Because we actually don't have a melon farm going. You know what? We'll do the bread one. And seeds we might have to pay for too. But. 9. 8. 18. Oh, we need a few more pieces. I'm very sorry, Simpa. Actually, no. I won't, I won't bother. I, I'll, keep, I'll keep it like that. <laughs> that. That's fine. But we got 18 pieces of bread. Are there any wheat or anything in the chest that someone's missed? I'm hoping what I'm actually going to do is transfer that to there. Because we're keeping enderpods there for PvP purposes. But I should see. Let, let me check. Because it's a stack of melon seeds. So we need a stack of melons. Wait. Um, yeah, melon seeds, pumpkin seeds and wheat seeds. So let me do dash shop. And then into materials. Uh, wow, that is a lot. That is a lot of budget, actually. Wow, okay. I I did not see that coming. Melons being that expensive. Well, I guess we got to do some farm grinding then, because, well, at the moment, I guess we should probably work on expanding this. What dirt do we have? Because I don't believe we have a lot of dirt. I know Simba's got a good amount of money on him, and we can transfer that back as well. Um, but I, I think I've got some cactus dye somewhere. Well, I've got some there, and I've got. Well, I, I can just smelt it. I can just smelt it if need be. <laughs> I can just smelt it's fine. I can take half of that, go like that, go like that, and then we can do that quest there. But I guess in this episode, what I'm going to be doing is expanding the wheat farm. I think they've nerfed wheat because it doesn't take that long to grow, I'm certain. Because I've been in the server quite a while and I'm certain they've nerfed it and... I've... Oh, okay. That's <laughs> never good when you break something. But uh, overall, we've got to expand this. So we've got to find dirt. And I've still got... To we, we gotta smelt this. Let's focus on smelting. Gotta smelt that, turn that into green dye, finish that quest, and hopefully we'll get more. And then we're also gonna create um, the... Oh, wow, stackable lava buckets. Okay, server things. Expand wheat farm. 
and go like that because I want to grind through the challenges. And oh, they're different. <laughs> I was thinking, why aren't they stackable? But then I found out my answer. Sorry, Simba, I'm going through your house to find if you've got any dirt, which you do. I'm going to need it. I'm very sorry. He also has green dye, but that's going to be for his quest more than anything. But let's grab... You know what? We're going to grab all the seeds. Like, it's worth... I'm so very sorry, Simba. It's going to be worth grabbing all the seeds. And then there's a hoe somewhere. There we go. And then we're just going to expand this like so. Because there's... A bit of lag. There's honestly no point in stacking them up. Especially with the amount of seeds we're getting. Is minimal. Because... Like, this just isn't growing a lot. And we're going to have to grind out a good amount so yeah it's, it's it's definitely worth doing this definitely worth hate slabs as well slabs is the one thing i hate one of mace that and lag lag is never nice dan was meant to be hopping on the server but i don't particularly know what he's doing but let's go like that if you guys don't know i believe water just increases how fast it grows oh i thought it was perfect Oh, no, no, it wasn't. It was still, uh, we're still too off. That's quite amusing. Oh, one piece of bread. Yeah, I'll take that. So we only need um, six wheat, which, do we actually have any wheat? No, we don't. We don't have any wheat. Do we have any? Yeah, still checking for wheat. No, there won't be any wheat in there. Won't be any wheat in there. Oh, we've got, oh, no, Ig ignore me, ignore me. <laughs> um, yeah, there's no, that, that's just filled with lapis, that's the enchanting chest, because I thought that might be important. Sorry. And we have returned, and all, all that phone call did was allow me to do dash C, and then sell the cactus. Nice. And we got a few saplings, that's really, really nice. So currently we still need, and in a way we just need money, I guess, because currently nature items... Oh no, it's 44,000. Okay. And then the seeds are that. I'm actually going to buy the stack of seeds. Whether I'll do them for the quest straight away, actually. Oh, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm going to throw away some of my junk, however, because some things you just don't need at all in life. You, you don't need a lot of things. So go like that. Still need the two. Uh. Grinding out a sack of seeds might be difficult. So, I might eventually tell Simpa to buy. Yeah, but he's got to do the quest as well. Doing a stack of seeds might be a good idea just to increase the farm rates. How much does Cactus sell for? Another thing. Cactus sells for 175 per stack. So, that's around... Yeah, we need to expand it a lot for it to be really efficient because currently it's like cactus still, like pumpkins are still our main money source. Like you can grind cat, um, pumpkins for ages and still be okay. Like brought it all the way down to here. Whereas cactus were just slowly, slowly expanding over time. And I think Neverwatt's actually a good money making thing as well. But yeah, honestly, there's not a lot I can do right now. Because... Yeah, off the top of my head... It's about... Well, I'm yeah, I'm just gonna go like that, go like that, go like that. Bang, bang. And then that shop, and then see how much the Neverwatt sells for sell price. Yeah, sell for 3,000. Okay, that's good. Yeah, Neverwatt's an... Little extra income, so we are gonna buy the seeds, I think, and we'll buy the stack of seeds. And then what we'll probably end up doing is expanding it, like so. Saying that, that's see, what do we get? Five dirt blocks, yeah. We're definitely gonna expand it, we're gonna definitely expand with what we've got and use up all the dirt we have. Simba can always buy um, more dirt if he wants. So it's not that big of a deal if we nick a few and just... 
roll like so. But yeah, Simba's house is really nice and I am liking mine. It's very different. It's not something I would usually go for. I did go for almost a classic Skyblock one, but uh, that, that's kind of feel I was getting to it. Like, let's just go classic Skyblock. But yeah, I wish you could actually um, buy dirt. That would be really, really useful instead of grass. Because I think grass is a little bit of pain. Again, sorry Simba that I'm taking your... Well, it's certainly ours. I'm pretty sure I'm... I'm... No, no, I think Simba might have bought it. Ignore me. I was going to say I was the one who bought it, but I think I'm wrong about that. So, yeah. But let's just keep rolling like that. And then plant all of this down. And then we should have better... Uh... Seed and wheat <laughs> production, I suppose. I, I can't even talk. I don't even know what I'm saying. But let's turn all of this into soil and place the seeds down. Well, because we got no water, we'll go halfway. Might be an idea adding water in, actually. Um, I'll add water in in some points. We can technically go under by this. So what I'll do is we must have a water bucket in here somewhere. We've got ice, but water buckets tend to be better. So we'll go water bucket. What? Where is it? It's like in my inventory somewhere and I'm just missing it. Uh, we got two lava buckets, which kind of sucks. Again, Simba, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need to check Dan's house as well, just in case he's got anything. And yeah, end of the spawn still. Oh, we need to get Silk Touch. We need an XP grinder, but that's what the zombie spawn is going to be for. Uh, I'm going to make a bucket. Unless, yeah, okay, Dan actually had all the buckets, so we're going to um, go like this. And then cobble underneath. We sh yeah, we got a ton of cobble because for some reason I had an extra vote thing, which I don't like to use, but what I did was... I just bought an overly amount, an overly amount of cobble. <laughs> I can talk now because apparently talking is irrelevant. Oh, and I'll get torches. Actually, what I can do is be lazy and do dash kick member and get torches that way. And it's more gaps, more ender pearls. So that works really, really well. So let's go like that. Then just build. Um we'll build a line here just so if we want to place water down we can and it'll be easier to hopefully hopefully we're probably one block too low let, let me test let me test because I got this book and apparently it says um, it grows quicker if yeah it's one too low um, we can leave that there. If it's soiled by water. I have no idea whether that's true or not, but I will roll with it. Actually, I can just do that. That's probably a lot easier. So let's go like that. Put the water in there. And then just keep rolling. Again, I don't know why Dan has that many buckets. He doesn't need them, so yeah. But let's go like this. And then, oh, we can actually jump down here. Also place a few torches down. Doesn't look nice, but it's fine. Go like that. But yeah, overall, Skyblock's been a lot about grinding. Like, grinding out all the gear and all of that. In a way, I probably should have done a little bit of the episode, us grinding out the, um, what's it called? Cactus Farm? Just ex I, like, I, I call it expanding because I think it is expanding because it's making it bigger. Well, Simba was just saying going upwards, so I don't know who's right. I think I'm personally, I think I still might be right about that. I'm probably not, but in my mind, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm right. So, uh, opinions, opinions, eh? Opinions. Well, let's go like that. And then we probably want to solve this part here as well. So we'll go underneath again. And, oh, we'll just break a block first. That's probably a lot easier. And we'll break this one here. And whoop, go like that. 
and then place the water in and then well we can just watch everything grow I'll use the rest of the seeds that I have to expand it and then we'll eventually oh actually one thing I do want to do I've got through dirt we're gonna need a good amount eventually so what it's worth doing where am I gonna put it and yeah I've got one melons and melons you do get more than you think so <laughs> just keep that in mind you know what we're gonna now nah, I want to keep it in this farm area I'm gonna go and then melon seed whoop except that's gonna take ages to grow so I'm gonna check for bone meal quickly do we have any bone meal um not that do we ask I'll just do everything else off camera but dash C now done that one that one we're close to doing because we got 19 bread paper we've done cobble we've done that we're in progress of doing stew maker are we actually able to buy mushroom stew or anything along those lines because that'll be majorly useful we actually nah it's too expensive it's very expensive but there's n there's no other way of grinding it really is there I don't really think there is it kind of sucks in a way also brewing sands is a thing I want so I'm actually gonna go remove one remove one remove one remove one and then by brewing sand for 500 yeah we're gonna do that and then we'll get that out and then we got brewing sand which is really really cool really cool indeed so I'm gonna I'm gonna put in Dan's area because this is like it can't be in any other place can it Dan's gonna claim it's his now but it isn't I can definitely assure you but overall what I'm gonna be doing is grinding for the rest of this episode because I'm wanting to do a lot of the challenges at least the oh there we go uh, the bread one and probably more so yeah that's gonna be my target what am I doing I can actually I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy here I can just do all of this because eventually we're go one, gonna want to grind out a lot more anyway as in do it all for Dan and Simper so it's a good idea just to sort of place everything down and do it like so also if you're new to the series I don't like doing the voting because I find it to be very very OP because like I could just come on and buy everything as in um, I would say episode 8 like the next episode I'd be able to buy a spawner just because I would have gone on every day voted got 10k and eventually got 300k which you can get in 30 days anyone can get that kind of spawner in 30 days if you guys are wondering but yeah what I want to do is I should probably look at a big youtubers perspective because oh wow that's missing because I know um, Pizza Hut did a series on this a while back I think it was I forget when but technically he would have had the donator perk of it so you will be able to see the donator shop and I want to see if it's worth doing the donator shop but overall what I'm gonna do is grind the hell out of this we've already got uh, the stack of pumpkin seeds which is in the chest over there I remember why I had a spare stack on me now all we've got to do is get a stack of V seeds and a stack of melon seeds which will eventually expand and all that but yeah definitely want to get into communication with Simper about that but without further ado we're gonna be right back once we've grinded it all out which will take a while I can assure you <laughs> and we are back with pretty much everything I'm yeah I'm pretty sure we've got everything we might be able to do the mushroom stew one I forget how much uh, actually I no no we can't do the mushroom stew one gonna have to grind a bit more but again we'll end up expanding the cat's farm more and more the dungeon I wonder no he didn't die okay good good but if we do that see actually we need one more thing 
my mistake, we're going to go back into our house and grab the last piece of the recipe, which is that. But if we go that C, C to one. Well, we're missing. Oh, we're actually missing wheat seeds. H how are we missing wheat seeds? Okay, like, I guess we can quickly grind that on camera. Like, why not? Hey, why not? We might get from this one if we're lucky. Uh, actually, we did. Okay, so that's C again. And then. Okay. Melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, and wheat seeds. It doesn't mean wheat, does it? I'm gonna check that. Okay. Um. I've got. Wait, I don't have pumpkin seeds in my inventory. Do I? Okay, I have no idea what happened there, but I have completed the sea bank challenge and I have completed the other challenge, whatever it was called. So now we are on to uh, some of the other challenges, which is, wow, that's a big one. We need to make 128 cookies and a bucket of milk. Oh my god! If we, if they didn't kill the cow in the previous episode, we would have been able to do that. May, probably not the cookies, because we need to get um, logs and cocoa. Uh, but tree cutter, uh, we might be able to do tree cutter, and then cook 10 fish, we can do that, and actually, does it just go, oh, that's really cool, okay, so, in other words, you can just click through to see which ones you're able to do, so now we've actually got a lot more things we can do, but obviously, preferably, you want to finish the next one, so, oops, uh, forgot to put that but nature items yeah they're quite expensive you see so what's the challenge is it um it's 18 so we're gonna need to grind up a bit more money to complete the novice but oh my goodness those blocks of diamonds and can i say the weather ha is terrible like oh it's just pouring with rain it is awful it is awful but, as always, we're going to keep expanding the cactus farm. I'm probably going to expand the neverwart farm, because I think neverwart might actually be the best resource. Personally, I think it's actually really, really good. <laughs> because, well, you're just able to get so much, and it grows so quickly, and, like, the money for it is really, really good. Like, we, we didn't even get that in a... Uh, in a long space of time, but I am gonna sell the pumpkins. I don't know why Dan doesn't sell them. Oh yeah, Dan helped me. He actually bought um, the melon seeds, which costs a ton. So, and we've expanded the farm as well. But to end the episode off, we're gonna sell all the pumpkins for three thousand five hundred. Whereas you can sell, actually, they're around the same price, I think. So if we go like that, and then go like that, and then go that that pop that back there and then go like that oh it's so complicated and like how Dan just put some in you were able to go yeah sell price 1500 so I think they're insanely similar in a way but did I just buy Neverwalk I just bought Neverwalk crap uh that never happened let's just sell all for 3000 and yeah that, that, that'll do that'll do <laughs> Sorry, sorry about that fail. Luckily, we didn't actually lose too much money in that. But fortune pick might be the way. Because I, I don't know how we're going to get that many diamonds. Well, I guess if we get a really good pickaxe and expand the cobblestone generator, then we can just go in with the fortune and just get so many items. It would be ridiculous. And that would actually get a good amount of money. However, we need to get an XP farm going. So... It seems like we just need to get a good money maker and just save up a ton of money. Maybe we do have to do the voting system. I don't know. I'm going to uh, check some videos out in case there's a secret way of doing stuff that I don't know of. Because, of course, like I've said, I'm... Wow. Well, I didn't sell my pumpkins. Maybe I bought them by accident. I don't know. But 
It's fine. We, we've made our money back. That That's the only thing that matters. So, yeah, I'll, I'll research a bit more than I usually would because I haven't really researched yet, if I can talk. But overall, that is the end of the video. So, if you have enjoyed it, hit like on to so do subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, it's been Woodmark Bravia. See you guys!